girl. Good girl. There's snow in Seattle. It never snows in Seattle. Well, maybe once a year we'll get a snow like this that just shuts everything down. And there's not even that much. It's just like maybe a couple inches of snow. Look at, there's snow. Wow. I figured it would be a good time to talk about cowboy boots in the snow. Because a couple of you have been asking me about what there is to know about cowboy boots in the snow and take it like I'm no expert, okay? I'm not a cowboy boot expert, I'm just a cowboy boot enthusiast and I really enjoy cowboy boots and when it comes to the winter time, I like to wear cowboy boots with rubber tread, with a rubber sole. And that is because obviously you need a little bit more traction, right? So I have two pairs of boots right now that are my go-to for the winter time, and that is these Justins, and I believe the model is AC1003. And I picked these up for about $20 at a thrift store recently. Uh, these are really good for the snow, except they have a safety toe. So that makes them really heavy. I have been using them as my just kick around boot. I'll take the dog for a walk in the morning in these boots. Uh, and they've been really handy like that. But they're not the kind of boot that I would wear out and about to a casual function or something like that. Just because they, they are heavy, they are steel toe or safety toe and it's just not the type of boot that I need for that. So I have these Abilene's. These Abilene's were my third pair of boots. I started out with a brown boulet and a black boulet boot. Both of them had leather soles. So when I came to thinking about what my third pair of cowboy boots was gonna be, I wanted a rubber sole specifically for occasions like this because I noticed when I wore my leather soled boots in the winter, they got really soggy and it was really slippery. It wasn't the best route to go for the winter time. So I got these Abilene's and I really like the fact that I can wear rubber sole and still look good. I mean, that is why I got these boots. Another thing to think about when you have a pair of boots for the winter time is to treat them with the snowproof, weatherproofing treatment that I used in a previous video talking about treating cowboy boots for the rain. And as you can see, I've recently treated these. Um, I didn't know it was gonna snow, but I treated these on Saturday, just a couple of days ago, uh, just because they needed it. And you can see that it has a waxy sort of luster. So it's not as shiny as a polish is gonna be, but it still looks full of life. It still looks great with this snow proofing and you will get a similar effect that you saw in that rain video where the water beads up and f falls off. Just sort of rub it in. When this melts, it will just sort of fall off. And that's what we want. We don't want uh, a whole bunch of moisture falling into this boot and potentially creating the opportunity for it to rot and damage the leather. So those are two things that I look for when it comes to winter and wearing boots. Enjoy the snow, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the winter, and I will see you next time. Peace. Winter is dark and cold. It's easy to crack and fold. But these boots handle the load. Each and every step holds its grip to the road. And these boots know the way home.